On the north shore of Weiming Lake, there is a special place. It is not only like an experienced old man who is indifferent to the quiet, but also like a talented young man with wits and wisdoms, full of heroic spirit. It is the National School of Development at Peking University, Long Ren Garden. Long Ren Garden was not born as a garden of Peking University, as it was built 100 years earlier than Peking University. Long Ren Garden and Peking University has already met each other as early as it was in 1898, and the key word was national development. The Emperor Guangxu prevailed over all dissenting views and established Imperial University of Peking for breaking the bad belief in the heart and study the way of national development this year. Also in the same year, Long Ren Garden was changed to Ministry of Internal Affairs by Imperial Household Department and it was a place for ministers to discuss national development strategies. Since then, Long Ren Garden and Peking University were getting closer and closer and then merged into Yanjing University in 1920 and it was formally incorporated into Peking University in 1952. As a veritable royal garden, Lang Ren Garden is not only a par with Wei Ming Lake, Bo Ya Tower, Jingchun Garden, and Yannan Garden as remarkable landscape landmarks of Peking University and location of National School of Development. It is also the academic and cultural landmarks of Peking University, even for the whole country. Communist Party of China Committee Secretary of Peking University, Zhu Xianlu said, as for the significance meaning of landmark for National School of Development, Vice Chairman of the CPPCC National Committee and Central Chairman the Nine Free Society, Han Chi De, has a very classic appraise. It then became 10 simple words, the world first class, Peking University's Peking University. How could National School of Development become the gilded brand of Peking University? It is not so complicated, actually. In 1994, Chinese was setting off a new wave of reform and opening up on how to crack the distortions between Western theories and practice of China, how to explore the way of national development with China characteristics and become the new preposition of history. In this year, Lin Yifu, Yi Gang, Hai Wen, Jiang Weiying and so on, all together, six returnees of economics doctor returned to Peking University. Co-founded the China Center for Economic Research, which was the predecessor of National School of Development of Peking University, and officially moved into Long Ren Garden in the second year. In 1998, they set up BIMBA in Peking University together with Association Collegiate in Business Schools and Programs, or ACBSP, accomplished the combination of economics and management, micrography and macrography. In 2008, National School of Development was established based on China Center for Economic Research, BIMBA, and several other research centers. The distinctions of National School of Development are from its two principles. The first one is start a real institution with professor management, freedom of thought, academic independence. The first principle is treated as the constitution here, lay the foundation of freedom, equality, spirit of long-run tolerance. 
It also attracted a large number of world-class professors. Lin Yifu, Zhou Qiren, Yi Gang, Jiang Weiying, Hai Wen, Song Guoqing, Min Weifang, Lu Feng, Yao Yang, Huang Yiping, Zhao Yaohui, Zheng Yi, Wu Hemiao, Liu Guoen, Li Ling, Jiang Xiaobo, Lin Xuanlin, Zhang Li, Yang Zhuang, Hu Dayuan, Ma Hao, and so on. Long Ren Garden becomes not only a gilded brand of Peking University, but also unique spectacle in the whole Chinese academic field. Lin Yifu, Jiang Weiying, Zhou Qiren, and other professors' thoughts generate similar influence on national developments as the disputes from Lu Xun, Li Da Zhao, Hu Shi, Liang Shu Ming. The second principle is the culture core, which provides the scientific, pragmatic responsibility of Long Ren character. Because of science, we do not cater to the government needs, nor the use of public opinions. Because of pragmatism, no work will be done behind closed doors. Refuse idle talk about national affairs. The faith of science and pragmatism come from everyone's heart. Historical responsibilities. Lin Yifu said, Two masters plus real intentions and responsibilities make National School of Development of Peking University have had a tremendous impact on many major issues of national developments, on the orientation of government, the rural reform, urbanization. Medical reform and population policy, and so on. It not only becomes the independent think tank leader, but also the holy land of Chinese economics and management education. During these 20 years, it fostered tens of thousands of double degree undergraduates, master doctor graduates, MBA, EMBA executives, and entrepreneurs. A famous entrepreneur, Liu Chuanzhi, said. 北大 国家发展研究院是国家的重要之处，我自己感觉到特点是一风气正。第二呢，就是注意了宏观和微观的结合，在咱们国家商学院、经管学院绝大多数培养的是企业工作者和政府的具体工作人员，培养对大形势、对国家